This is hilarious. Adaptation so far removed that people must be told who it is, as they'd have no way of knowing otherwise, have become the rule rather than the exception. In layman's terms, it is the case more than it isn't. I've seen people with entirely racist intent draw less offensive depictions of black people and I'm not sure why the bar need be lowered this far. Hack writers, designers, and producers are well aware that nothing they create would captivate, so they're forced to strangle properties that people used to like and inject it full of their diverse and inclusive irrelevance at the cost of what anyone might have liked. There's no room for anything else. These projects quite literally, or figuratively, explode. In fact, the only injection that Disney seems interested in these days involves children, but can pretending to be oppressed continue to shield against any scrutiny? Bad movies can't be bad anymore, it must be the audiences who are uneducated bigots that are just too stupid to see how great the art really is. Next thing you know, these people will be writing a book called My Struggle. When women do it, it's empowering. When men do it, it's toxic masculinity. To any producers listening, the people hear you, they're just not that into you. In fact, they heard you the first hundred times this stale message was relayed. The men funded your little recreational products and projects, and the women, based on how often they fail the Bechdel test, can't even exist without men, even in their fiction, for support. It's like trying to get a One Piece fan not to mention Goku. The self-inserts, the literally me characters, these projects are cringe incarnate and somehow even the gullible, simple, and susceptible to deception commoners like me filling the comment sections with the inability to recognize that some things are staged, even we are too smart for the dog water that media is serving up. Hollywood, you regard us as stupid, fat, and ugly. And I'll own up to two of those things on a good day, but ugly? You take that back. Hello, beta testers. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment or correct me below, but you're tired of this, right? The Witcher producer says that American audiences don't like his show because they're too dumb, citing what he believes to be incomprehensible and too complicated. For Americans. Which, if I'm being completely honest, I quite prefer to the racist and sexist button that these hacks have been pressing when people don't like the garbage that they put out, so now they gotta whine about it on the internet in an interview, as if this isn't more entertaining than their terrible show could ever be. Hack producer Tomek, your garbage people were only watching because of Henry Cavill, whom you went on to get rid of, you can't blame American sensibilities for. They even cite that this isn't the first time that you've done this sort of thing. The fact that you're, oh, it's because they're watching TikTok, they're watching YouTube, boo, who? You gotta apply effort to sound like this much of a boomer. The fact that The Witcher worked before you touched it and then after you touched it, it doesn't work, is something that needs to resonate within and upon your soul for the rest of your being, fool. You opted to dumb the material down and people rejecting it. Blubber all you want if it makes you feel any better. This is the same show, Beta Tester, where a casting director admitted to deliberately seeking what she regarded as an ugly woman to challenge beauty standards because that was more important than pleasing, satisfying potential watchers, making their show seem marketable, uh, making fans feel like this was an accurate representation of a character that maybe they wanted to see accurately represented. But representation has a different meaning for you clowns. Producer, have you no pride? 
And no, I don't mean gay pride. I mean like manly pride enough not to go on the internet and look like a bitch. When people get fired and they're asking questions like, am I too black? Am I too queer? When they were hired for their position specifically because of these reasons. Your time came, your time passed. What you've done in that time, in the way of squandering the opportunity, is entirely and utterly your fault. It's not because people are stupid and because your work is so complex. The truth of the matter is, yes, these projects may be much less diverse and written by a team of much less diverse people, but they were objectively higher quality. They respected the intelligence and time of their viewers or readers enough to inspire a fandom. In fact, the ugliest truth about many of these adaptations is that if they came out this way initially, they would never have survived the test of time for anyone to be remaking them now. You don't measure up. You aren't heroically making a case for more diverse fantasy worlds by making a worse product. You're actually ruining the chances and setting us back. Listener, if it feels like I'm being dramatic, allow me to read you this comment from Phoebe Waller-Bridge, an actor who played a character that you wouldn't know the name of even if you went to see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Derpy doo doo, the, the last one that came out. Here is their quote. I think both fandoms for Star Wars and Indiana Jones are just the most toxic in nature, and they have the worst fans, if they even want to call themselves fans. I think they're just posers who like to complain about things, and they need to grow up already. This was a problem that we were dealing with and facing when we were doing Solo, Star Wars Story, and Dial of Destiny. They just can't accept that a woman is at the forefront in a major role, so they get the Offensive when screen time is taken away from their main character and or hero that they grew up with or are familiar with in pop culture. I find it ridiculous and it's something that we just deal with when making Indiana Jones. I told James Mango that it's best to never listen to the fans anyway because then your story is just never told. That's why I think I succeeded so much with Fleabag. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Maybe, yeah. What? And how I am, and how I aim to make my Tomb Raider show into a smashing success for Amazon. I think it's important not to listen to fans or individuals that feel entitled or feel like they have some kind of authority over our property. So nobody should listen to you <laughs> about a, a Tomb Raider. Talk about a double whammy wants to be an actor is absolutely unlikable to anyone but cat ladies like they themselves wants to be a producer and a writer but studios actually like money and will likely soon prefer hoes who don't call fans of what they're producing hosers and say things like it's important not to listen to the fans even if you weren't gonna maybe you just don't need to say it you know good luck to you entity with respect to however you identify, we pray you leave us out of your thoughts, prayers, pre-rampage or clocking out notes. How did women in the business go from I don't need no man to I don't need no money or fans? Do your one woman show on a, on a cardboard box in an alleyway. You know what I mean? Maybe you can get people to look your way if your c**ts are off. You get what I'm saying? You need money. <laughs> That's why you mad. You contributed to the story of the last forgettable nail in the coffin that was an Indiana Jones movie that nobody even cared about. Forget fans. Moviegoers, as a whole, entirely rejected you. You. You are unappealing, out of touch, lacking in self-awareness. You're putting the fans that you call posers to shame because you're crying over the irrefutable fact that when years pass, yeah, the, just like the Ghostbusters movie, if Indiana D Jones returns, it will have nothing to do with you. You will not be the draw. Lady, step aside. You're flailing, you're ass blasted, that you think kids can't perceive that these days. They're who you need, whom you need to carry you into the future. But this instead, 
will be your legacy Phoebe Waller-Bridge, you'll be remembered as one of these. You know what I'm saying? Ask somebody if you don't know, you must not know a lot of things. Witcher casting directors, producers, writers, anybody of like mind, we consider you villains. These things worked. At least they did before you got your hands on them. Could have been accidentally bad, you know, some things just don't pan out. But you guys can't keep your mouth shut, so thank you for opening your fat mouth and declaring just how thin-skinned you are in your deliberate and thorough endeavor to ruin and dilute some of this medicine that people were willing to pay you for. And now, of course, they know better than to get it from you. So who's supposed to feel bad? It couldn't be us. You narcissists only see yourself. And just like this Ziegler, queen of the literally who, has been in interviews talking about that's jaded and oh there's no white coming into her power and what the hell and being the leader she was always meant to be it's like you're just lighting the livelihoods of the people you're working with on fire and as much as we feel disdain towards what clearly comes off as an insufferable cunt i can't imagine how the people who work with you feel they are a thousand times the actor that you could ever be pretending with a smile that you're tolerable we have entered the flailing territory and just as vocal trans people online showed us just how much they'd lose their shit when they had no control over what was going on the control that we are all aware that we never have you know and we're fine and not running into a grocery store or a, a post office you know what i'm saying jesus christ but these people can't deal with it. They can't deal and that's our problem. So we got literal movie producers and actors acting like petulant twats online, willing to argue with random people with their figurative crayon drawing of an opinion. <laughs> this is typical, right? You know, on, on a YouTube channel, I don't have sponsors or monetization hoops to jump through so I can let people know. I wouldn't wake up tomorrow and decide to I'm gonna make videos where I try on different tutus and expect all y'all to like that because if you don't, you're bigots, you know what I mean? Why am I smart enough to, I should end this video and I haven't even got to the fact that Disney just wants to resurrect dead people, you know what I mean? Some, some Robin Williams was smart enough to see coming, you know what I mean? But here's the crazy part, imagine if Disney had infinite money, which in a way they do, they can pull strings if they needed to, and we just rejected all of the garbage, which we are, that they're putting out right now. I'm sure Robert Downey Jr. would sign off on a couple billion dollars to just have them CGI him on into the next thing and have him look directly at the screen and go, you will be trans and you better because if you're not, then that's not cool. I'm Robert Downey Jr. even though it's CGI, you know what I mean? I wanted to talk about the Uncanny Valley. It's a natural rejection. How it just comes out of us to go, oh, that's not right. That's not quite human that's not quite natural it is a natural reaction that's how some of us respond to overt obvious blatant clear conditioning brainwashing the shit that we know is what's happening with disney with all media we wanted something in the way of an escape this isn't that how many videos can i make saying the exact same thing all i know is this people like me just wanted to unwind and calm down and have a good time and look at what they looking at without this message slapping us in the freaking face we were born into and suppressed our desire and urge to teabag but if y'all want to see how it's done we can show you how it's done it's not a threat i'm not inciting anybody to do anything i don't encourage any of you to go anywhere and say anything but trust me stay fucking ready keep them phones charged i could talk about but that would be crazy right that would be crazy for me to say something like that not because we're gonna go do anything i can't even include that in the video thank you for listening appreciate your comments and all your support the likes really help push these videos because YouTube didn't know, uh, you know, hmm, boy. I need to know how you feel about this. What a fumble. They don't have agents that can speak sense to them. They don't even have friends that are close enough to them to speak the truth, man. That's the most important thing that you need in your life. And you need to find that friend before you get money. After you get money, too late for a friend that's going to be real with you. 
too late. But I guess when you think you know everything, you don't need that person either. What a satisfying watch this is finally going to be. Phoebe finally entertaining.